processor in. Again, this is an AMD quad core. Um, I won't even get into specifics about the numbers right now. All right, we got all the pins lined up. Everything is dropped into place, as you can see. Um, on, let me zoom in for you a little bit. This might give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, we are going to be using the stock heatsink and fan on this. Um, we're not going to be overclocking. That's primarily the reason why um, in the future, who knows, he can have the ability to add one. We've already cleaned the thermal paste off of the original heat sink and processor. And we are going to put Arctic Silver on for our thermal paste. Um, a little bit goes a long way, so before I do this, I go ahead and get this locked down. Double check, make sure everything is good and in place. It is. All right, when you lock these down, you're going to feel quite a bit of resistance, which is okay. That's normal. Um, always make sure anytime your fingers have been around the back side of the processor, make sure it's cleaned off nice and good with a chem pad. You don't want to get any oil in between there. You won't let it cool properly. And uh, like I said, a little bit of this paste goes a long way. You don't need to spread it. Um, get your blob on there and whenever you uh, anchor down your heat sink and fan it is going to spread that paste and push it out so it's on a good even cooling surface all right let's get ready to set this in place um, another thing when you're putting these on you might want to make sure that you got the uh, the fan in a good position to where you can get your uh, get your fan lead wires over to the uh, socket on the motherboard. All right, go ahead and drop the heat sink on here. in place. Now we're going to go ahead with the RAM module installation. Um, it's going to be the same as it is on Intel boards, AMD boards, whichever. Um, whenever you look at your uh, slots, uh, AMD is always going to uh, have the, the uh, slot staggered to where you'd see black black blue blue or whatever the colors may be they're always going to be matched in pairs um, but this would be channel a1 this would be b1 a2 b2 so either which way on an intel board you'd see black and blue black and blue but either which way it doesn't matter it's still uh, it is still the same way installed you want to make sure that you put one in channel a1 one in channel a2 RAM out of the box here. We went with uh, G Scale Rip Jaw for our RAM. Alright, and if you look at these modules, whenever I uh, bring it in a little bit closer for you, alright, when you're looking at these modules, there is a notch cut in the module. That's going to tell you exactly how this is going to be located in the slot and on this one it's going to be pretty easy to figure out um, the smaller end is going to go on the top whenever you place these in make sure that you got your little white tabs here and here pulled back actually I'll rotate the board around so you guys can see it 
and whenever you put these in you're going to want to bring them in as evenly as possible and you will hear a positive click whenever they come in check make sure it's in place that is good alright next module it's going to be the same thing except we're going to be going in slot A2 all lined up positive click means we're in good alright well we've got the RAM processor and heatsink installed on the motherboard something to take note of whenever you're doing a build this will make things a lot easier on you further down the road as you go to add things in uh, more drives optical drives hard drives whatever um, you're gonna see that your SATA ports are actually labeled on your board as to SATA 1 through 5 some of them you'll see SATA 0 etc this is always important to uh, to remember is whenever you're hooking up your components is then later down the road as you start to add things you're going to know what's in what port whenever you get into your system everything we can do with the board up to this point is done um, we have our RAM modules installed we have our processor installed we have our heat sink and fan installed and again we're using the uh, the OEM fan and heat sink. We're not going to go with anything big for right now because we're not doing any overclocking. That may be something for the future. Um, that being said, this board is loaded with options. Um, lots of SATA ports, lots of USB, uh, Firewire, 8 channel audio, you name it. The board's got it. Um, I'm impressed for the price. All right, all that being said, we're going to go ahead and cut off of here, and uh, the next time we deal with the board, it will be installing it into the case and installing the graphics card and internet card.